Hi, Michelle here from The Tidy Effect. Today we are doing a combined week four and week five video on uh, the eight week tidy challenge in decluttering my own home and getting my house decluttered with the KonMari method. We're doing a combined week four and five because I forgot to do, or I didn't get a chance to do much of anything last week in week four. I did a couple of little things. I bought a fourth stool for the breakfast bar so now we all have a stool and don't have to share. I bought a bulb for the salt lamp and I bought a diffuser and some essential oils. So those are three things that have just, they're just tiny things but they make the house run a little bit better. They make my life a little bit easier or they make it a little bit more joyful. So I also managed to clear my desk. It's nice and clean now but I did not get to paper. So we're gonna do paper now, and then later on, on the weekend, I will do toy uh, decluttering with the children as well. So I want to leave the toys until Noah is here because he does get a say in all of the toys in what stays and what goes, but uh, my paper is just my paper, so I will do that while they are away because it's just easier that way, and also they don't like the shredder noise. So in order to not scare them, I'll just do it while they're at daycare. So first things first, I'm going to get the paper, all of the paper I have, and pop it onto the desk in a pile so I can sort it. Now I don't have that much because I'm already trying very hard to go paper free, but there are some things that have uh, accumulated over time and it's time to go through and get rid of what I don't need anymore. So let me get it all out and pile it up. Okay, so this is actually all of the paper that I have in my life. Uh, believe me, my husband has many, many more because he doesn't throw anything else, especially paper. But this is mine, so this is the bit that I am in control of. I will go through it and um, declutter now. So all I'm going to do is ask myself whether this paper either serves a purpose or sparks joy and get rid of anything that answers no to both of those questions. Anything that can be digitized, I do digitize, but I don't save things that don't need to be saved. So I know there are people that want to digitize all of their credit card statements, all of their electricity bills, and I just don't see any need. Once they've been checked or paid, then I think it's fine to get rid of them. So there won't be actually that much to digitize here either. There's a few client forms that I'm pretty sure I've already scanned, but I will double check before I get rid of. Everything else can go. All done. Um, that was a nice and simple joy check. And there were a few things in there that I had forgotten about. It definitely has made me smile, so that's very good to see. There is one more thing that I didn't do actually, and that is to go through these post notes. So these notes are um, from a mastermind that I do every month, and I am really bad for not ever going back to them and everyone writes down ideas for you on a little post-it note and gives it to you. I'm really bad for never going back. So I've made a little pile. I'm going to go through those in a minute and put them into my to-do list, either under ideas to do right now or an ideas parking lot, so that things that I can action later. So all I have to do now, I've got the things I need to either recycle or shred and the, everything that I'm keeping here, plus a couple of forms over here that are actually action right now. I've got to fill them in this afternoon for the kids' school. So I'm just going to categorize. Um, I've got a folder for work stuff, which my brain guidelines, the KonMari training booklet, etc., goes into. So I'll pop them straight back. I've got a folder for uh, personal documents as well. So that is like birth certificates, you know, all the important documents. And also in the same folder because I don't actually have that much paper goes any um, 
warranties that are worth keeping. So as someone who worked at an electronics repair shop, you don't need every receipt ever for all of your goods. You do need to keep the warranties, the receipts for anything that is in warranty. Although if you do lose it, try calling the store that you bought it from because they normally have a copy. Um, but go through them regularly and get rid of the receipts where the item is now well out of warranty. Don't get rid of them the second they go out of warranty because they'll often, the manufacturers will cover them for a little bit longer. But I have, for instance, my dryer, I think it was my dryer, the receipt um, in there for the dryer and it is about eight months out of warranty and it's still running well. So I'm going to get rid of that receipt, it's not needed. But also, if it was for some reason, I could just call the uh, place that I bought it from. So the receipts will also go into the same folder as all the important documents, but I do not keep manuals except for my camera because I do refer to that pretty often, but manuals for everything else I don't keep. If I really need the manual for something, I can find it online, but generally speaking, we never look at manuals again, so feel free to thank them and let them go. going to keep these forms, they're feedback forms for my workshop, but I've mo moved my workshop online and I don't know if or when I will ever be running the workshop again, so I'm going to get rid of them. Now, I'm not going to just throw them out though, because um, they're not sensitive in any way, so I am just going to save them for my kids to draw all over because they are so into drawing right now. So they'll go into the drawing pile. So I'm just going to make piles of what's recycling, what's kept for scrap paper and what has to be shredded so that I can shred before the kids get home because they freak out at the noise of the shredder, the vacuum cleaner and the thermomix, which means I can't cook while they're home, which is kind of pointless. Scrap paper. Recycling, shredding, and these are the folders that I'm keeping, the papers that I'm keeping in three separate folders. So we've got um, my important documents and warranties in there, the receipts, not the warranty cards, you don't actually need those, just the receipts with the date of purchase. Um, then these are my long-term business documents. So my Kamari folder, my brand guidelines, etc. And this is my quick reference business folder that's only got a few sheets of paper in it, but they're sheets that I refer to a lot when I am on the phone with someone during a sort of discovery call. And also thinking about my workflow and like how to bring in business and everything. So I had a business coach do those up for me and I refer to them very often. So they're in their own little quick reference folder. All right, so I'm going to put everything away, then I'll go through the post-it notes. Then I think I might actually do stationery. So paper is done now, that's the third um, step in the KonMari method. And the fourth is kimono, which is miscellaneous or basically everything else in your house that isn't sentimental. So stationery would come under that and is all part of the same drawer in my desk, basically. So I'm going to go straight into that and I will do the tech cords another day, I think. So I was going to do stationery next and then I went to get it out of the drawer and I realized just how much stationery I have. So we're going to start with uh, notebooks and notepads and see how we go because we are running short on time. So she didn't have many papers. But she had a lot of notepads. We've got these and these. So we're gonna have to go through those, do the joy check and separate what is to go and what doesn't and I'm pretty attached to all of them so perhaps none of them will go but I was just thinking that any art supplies need to be more accessible than squeezed into those drawers with everything else so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I will have to find a new home so that we can actually get to them. Oh, I just found my art projects 
from uh, Interior Design College. The couple of the drawings I had to do, which <laughs> goes this way, Michelle. I was never a good artist, so uh, being able to produce this, which has questionable interior design, but <laughs> really good artwork for my skills. Um, I don't want to let them go. They're definitely staying. If you uh, came across something like that in your own tidying journey and you just could not make the decision yet, or you just can't face them yet, I would place that in sentimental for my clients. So if I was working with my clients and I came across something that they were clearly that attached to, I would leave it until the end. I would pop it into the uh, sentimental category and I would revisit it. They will likely keep it, but I don't want them to have to make any decisions on it right now. So I just say, look, put, that's clearly sentimental. Put it in that category. Other things that aren't sentimental are a scribbly page of my signature that isn't even my signature anymore because that's pre-marriage. It's actually dated 12th of November 2014. So seven years old. I think I can let that one go. So I wanted to show you this notebook. This is a notebook I found in the bookshelf the other day. Um, completely had forgotten I had it and I just put it in my desk drawer so that I remembered I had it because that's where my notebooks go. And I remember buying this book and I remember loving it and I remember buying another one very similar and then wanting to buy all 10 or however many options there were at the time. But I only bought the two. I've used one as a travel journal, so that still sparks joy and is still in my bookcase. But when I have a look through this one, I just don't feel like there's any joy left in this one for me. So I'm going to donate this, even though like last week or the week before I saved it. It's time for this one to go. So thank you, but goodbye. And the last thing I've got to decide on is my three to-do list that I've currently got on the go. Um, this is a good notepad, but I usually have it in my bag for when I'm at client sessions. And uh, I don't know why, because I have an erasable notebook. So this is kind of just an extra <laughs> hanging around. There's only a few pages left. I will consciously use them up, but I will not be refilling that one. Grabbing more. This one is one of my favorite notepads. It is my current to-do list. It only has five sheets, six, maybe seven sheets left. But um, I ordered one from them the other day from this company, uh, My Goals. So <clears throat> I'm not going to show you my actual scribble to-do list, but I'll show you a blank one, which I find these really handy. Same with this Kiki K one, which it's got a to-do list on the side and then heaps of space for you to do any random note taking and same with this so to-do list this one's got like a gratitude next three steps your um hour of power what are you going to do there and this column for writing in so love that ordered actually a weekly planner from them instead of this one this time i'm going to see if that and a little notepad will make any difference for me um kiki k don't do these ones anymore i don't think they do weekly planners with a little tiny space but I wanted that big huge space because I'll go through one of those every day if I am doing admin and you know social graphics and my bookkeeping and all of that sort of thing when I'm back here at the desk I will definitely fill one of those in a day so I'm sad that Kiki K don't make those anymore but hopefully my new combination of weekly planner and small notebook will help I just have to consciously, all of these are about to run out. This one does have only five sheets left. I just have to consciously use them up and then go with my one solution instead of continuing to buy notepads, which I do all the time. I'm still a sucker for stationery, even after all these years of the Conmaran method. Um, I don't buy sticker books anymore. These are all from, oh, 2014. No, 2012. I don't remember when I worked 
by Kiki K, 2012, I think. So these are all almost 10 years old now. <laughs> But um, I love them. I still use them occasionally when I'm doing presents and that sort of thing. So I'm going to keep all of them, but I also will not buy any more for a long time. So as predicted, I got rid of almost nothing in that, but I've still got all of these, which some are current. This is a journal I use every month for my mastermind, Sis and Biz. Um, this is a journal I use. Uh, a notebook I use for a specific purpose. This one is my actual journal for journaling every morning. Well, it should be every morning, it's not. Um, and then I've got three sketchbooks. Um, I say that like I'm an artist, I'm clearly not. But in my ideal life, I learned to draw, so I'm keeping these. Now, I don't need three myself though, so I am giving a little one for myself. And I'm gifting these two to the children because they will love having a book each to draw in. So I'll give those to the children. I have this drawing artist pad. Oh, it had something in it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then uh, the rest is blank. I might donate that to the kids' school because I've got that little sketchbook. I don't also need a drawing pad. I've got a tracing pad and a pad of bleed proof paper, which I've got so many of the those pens that I don't even know the name of because I'm not an artist, but I will be. I will be. So I'm keeping my bleed proof paper. I'm keeping the tracing paper. I think that would be really good for kids craft, which we are now just getting into. I'm getting rid of these black frames too which are uh, things when I was when I was studying interior design I um, tried to get serious about learning to draw so um, although I want to do that again sometime I don't need to hang on to these two flimsy cutouts in the meantime I've already hung on to them for what is clearly almost 10 years and then I have this which is mostly my money journal so I do Denise Duffield Thomas's Money Boot Camp. If you have not heard of her, go look Denise up. She is changing it in my life. But this is where I put all the notes for my money mindset. So very important journal that one. That's it. That is all that I'm keeping. Oh, may I just point out I'm also keeping this rocket book. Also, also Google Rocket Book if you haven't heard of that. I have this one and an A5 one. They, um, the A5 one is in my bag, I didn't bother getting it out because I know it's Sparks Joy and I will be keeping it. But that's it. That's all going to fit back in my desk now though. So. And I have to make a plan of where to put art stuff because cramped in between all of my business stuff isn't working for me so I have to find somewhere else. Mm -hmm.